Darren, 1-1 one, one draw and we'll do it all again on Tuesday night. Just give me your initial thoughts after the game. Um, obviously disappointed not to see the game out, having gone 1-0 in front. Um, I'm not going to criticise the boys today. I'm frustrated, don't get me wrong, bitterly frustrated that we haven't gone on and won the game and we're through. But uh, can't, can't give them too much criticism today because we played on a really poor pitch, um, which goes against how we want to play and how I want my team to play. And at times I thought we played the conditions quite well. But I don't want to make excuses. I'm not that type of I don't like making excuses. But, you know, difficult pitch to play on. But disappointed we haven't seen the game out. So we, we go again on Tuesday. I was going to allude to the conditions with the weather on top of the pitch as well. Very difficult. And your side seemed to start really well and adapt to those conditions very quickly. I don't mind the wind and the rain. You know, that's, you, you're playing wind and the rain to, some weeks, some games, you know. So I, I can, we can, we can plan with that. But on a pitch like that, where the ball won't even roll flat. But listen, they sound like excuses. We've, we've drawn the game, and we'll go again Tuesday, and and we'll go back to playing the type of football that I want my team to play. And we'll take that as a positive that many teams could come here in a game like that against a very gritty Farsley side, and could have gone on the wrong end of a cup upset. But we take them back to the hive, and we'll feel confident that we can get the job done. Yeah, and, and, and rightly so. It's a, it's another game undefeated. It's a it's a difficult it's a difficult fixture. They're one-off games these these cup games, but obviously it's going to be a, a replay now. But you know, it's it, that's why they're going well this year in, in in their respective league. And it's it's difficult to come here and get a result. But you know, I don't want to make excuses. We've had to had a couple of changes today that are forced upon us. We've obviously JT going and and Harry getting injured and that. You know, but. No excuses. Should should have won the game, and, and we'll all be frustrated. But you know, we're still in the hat, and we'll, we'll have another go at it on Tuesday. Another positive to take the attitude of the players, the mentality that was certainly not a problem. They gave it absolutely everything on that difficult pitch, and we had plenty, did make chances in the second half as the game went on to to nick it and take uh, take the win. Yeah, I, ne- I never question these boys' attitude. I, you know, I work with them day in day out. I see how they train. I see how they prepare. I know how much they want to win. You know, some some may feel different, but I, I know. Um, and and all I've ever wanted to do is try and help them become better and and make them better. But their attitude, it's very very rare. I I feel the need to to question their attitude. But I certainly won't question their attitude today. My my chat in there after the game was very 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 simple and brief today. No criticism because you've played on a on a really really poor surface um, and have still tried to do the right things. Um, often enough and we should have gone on one of the game but no criticism today if we don't finish the job on Tuesday then, then that's different but I expect us to play on Tuesday how I expect my team to play and we'll have one or two back no I'll go on about that as well just so you know because uh, people always ask me questions Shaq broke down um, Thursday Friday um, which is unfortunate Ricardo is recovering still. Sweeney will be available for Dagenham, as will Josh Walker. And Harry Taylor, we're still waiting for further scans to just see the severity of his injury. But, you know, it's nothing new at this club. Nothing new. It's the same story every week. We have a big injury list and we want to try and get one or two through the door. So it's, it's a very repetitive story. And just one individual performance I wanted to touch on. Charlie Adams obviously came in to that defensive back three, back five, if you would, if you will, and he played really well and did particularly well in a position that he doesn't always play in. Listen, he's played right side of a three, um, and he's coming out in the cold. He's been frustrated at not getting used, and he's coming out in the cold and putting a, a, a performance like that. He can be really proud of himself. He's a top player. Will he get credit from outside? people or what, I don't know but as far as I'm concerned he can be very proud I'm, I'm pleased with what he's done today having not played as much as he wanted to great lad um, credit to him for the way he's performed today and just lastly I just want to touch on the support we received a, a nice healthy number of Barnet fans have made that the trip up from the hive and they seem to appreciate your uh, your team's efforts this afternoon oh, well that, that's pleasing you know you know me I'm, I'm I'm one of them. I'm with the fans. I always appreciate their their support, um, and they've come out in numbers. And you know, I went round and spoke to one or two before the game as well. So 
Uh, listen, I, I, I certainly feel like they're behind me and behind the team. They just want to see more wins and they want to see us climb the table and do well, like we all do.